know that don't like the shop. And then you got the nerd to be picky too? Come on, stop playing. What's up you guys? Welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Angel if you are new here and welcome back to another vlog. So y'all, I am chilling. It is Sunday. It is Sunday and basically it's like the day before Memorial Day and I'm just chilling y'all. Like babe and I have literally just been chilling, watching movies. The house is so quiet. Kason is with his dad. Um, so we've been chilling and plus I'm trying to get myself together and ready to um, go to Vegas this coming Friday. So this vlog will consist of a lot of me packing, getting ready for Vegas, um, me showing y'all some new stuff and all of that. So I just had some McDonald's. I know, I know, I know McDonald's is trash. Every time I, every time I eat McDonald's y'all, I feel like trash. Like I feel like shit every time I eat McDonald's. But anyways, I thought that I told y'all in my last vlog, but I guess I didn't. Um, this frappe, a caramel frappe from McDonald's, you guys, add Oreo. I'm finna put y'all on. It's lit. It's so good. This is like my third time getting it, y'all. Caramel frappe, add Oreo. Y'all see how much I got left. The perfect amount of Oreo mixed with that caramel. It just hit a little different. It hit a little different. Because this past Friday was my last day at the school um, for this 2020-2021 school year. I will be teaching summer school though. Um, but I don't mind because they're going to pay us extra on top of what we already get paid. And it's some, it's some nice little money. You know, money talk, honey. Bullshit walk. Money talk. So I was like, let me go ahead and do this. And it's only Monday through Thursday from 8 o'clock to 7.30 to 1 o'clock. So... And plus, I also put Kaysen in um, summer school as well. Um, not that he needed it because my baby did so good, y'all. I'm so proud of him for being promoted to first grade. Um, I can't believe I got a first grader, y'all. Like, oh my gosh. Like, I need to go ahead and get this second baby popping, okay? Because in a minute, it ain't going to be no second baby. Because, y'all, my kids will literally be like at least like seven years apart. Like, and that's if I have the baby, like, before Kaysen is eight. So, yeah, y'all, we got to get a move on it. <laughs> we need to go do some baby dancing. <laughs> oh, boy, yeah, we really do. Um, Because I do not, like, oh, my gosh. Y'all know I've never really wanted um, more than one child anyway. Like, it was always just me and Kaysen. I was cool with just me and Kaysen. All day, every day. Like, I was good with just me and Kaysen. But, um, y'all know Babe doesn't have any kids and stuff. So, I feel like it's only right for me to go ahead and give him a little kid or whatever. Um, but if I wouldn't have met Babe or if I would have met a man that already had kids or something like that, girl. Mm -mm, it'll be over with for that. <laughs> but, you know, gotta make some, you know, not sacrifices. What word was I looking for? compromise a little bit you know what i'm saying compromise and plus everybody always say like have two kids anyway everything is better with two you know it's better with two for um you know raising your kids it's just always better with two it's just better with two so um i don't want casing to be 10 though you know what i'm saying i don't want him to be that that old how far apart are y'all kids because i feel like i should have already had another baby by now like girl but you know, God's plan, honey. God's plan. You know, we ain't gonna rush it. If it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen, honey. Okay? So, y'all, I ended up doing my nails and my toes yesterday. I was so glad to switch up my color and do, like, a actual, like, summer color because I had black. So, I'm gonna show y'all my nails and my toes real quick because they fire. Okay? Y'all, look at my little piglet. They're a little ashy, honey. But look at my nails and my toes. So cute. I actually decided to do my nails a little longer than what I normally do them. So, this is what they hidden for. I love the pink, y'all. If you know, then you know. I love rainbow, y'all. So, I got a bunch of um, summer stuff, even some shoes and sandals. So, I'm going to show y'all what I got um, real quick. And, of course, it would not be a haul if I didn't sit in my favorite spot. It would not be a haul at all. Okay? So, this bag is huge, y'all. 
I had actually been waiting. I think I got this earlier, um, the end of last week, but I was like, let me just hold off um, so I can show you guys everything that I got. Let me move this camera angle because it's looking a little... Okay, I think I like that better. So I got some goodies, y'all. I got some good stuff. So I'm gonna show y'all these shoes that I got first and I'm gonna try them on for y'all too. Oh, okay. Okay. I got some red heels. I do not have any red heels. Well, I do, but they're like not really in season, in style. So I got these. How cute are these? They're just like these red mules. Nothing too crazy. You can wear these with a dress. Wear these with some jeans and a cute top. They look a little small, honey. They look a little small because y'all know I got some fat sausages. But we're going to try these on and see what they hitting for. Why do I keep saying that? See what they hitting for. That's like my new lingo these days. So this right here, this item is the real reason why I placed my order on rainbow.com, y'all. These are so freaking beautiful. They are like the perfect nude for like my skin tone and for us brown skin women, for my you know, Latino women, for my women that got a little, you know, a little melon on them, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is like the perfect nude for us. This is so pretty, it's like a beautiful caramel mocha shade. I have got to try these on, y'all. And these shoes were $20. $20, sis. And I can't even remember what else I ordered. I was just so excited about the um, jeans and stuff, I mean, about the, the shoes. Okay, this is a cute dress. I feel like I already have a dress like this, though. With the cute little puppy sleeves. Did I get a small? I hope I got a small. Oh, they were nice enough to send me some um, some razors. These are some um, razors. I put these in my little razor drawer. This is super cute. So I got this uh, this white hoodie. I got this because I felt like this would be perfect for like the fall. Um, just a white hoodie and I love that you can tie it up. I feel like I can wear this with some jeans and some heels or some boots like for the fall um, or for like uh, the winter time. I just, I have been wanting that. I have been looking at that for a minute. Ooh, girl, I forgot I got sunglasses, girl. Girl, uh, oh my gosh. Uh, let me see. I feel like it would not be a vlog if I don't unbox some stuff with y'all. It's not a vlog if I don't do that, right? So I guess these are kind of like Dior dupes. Let's see what they hidden for. Hmm, these are really cute. Um, maybe with some hair though, but these are cute. They super oversized, but these are actually really cute. And I think these were only like $3, y'all. Then I got these sandals because um, I needed a, a, um, a tan pair of sandals. I didn't have a pair. Oh, and these have a nice cushion on them. Like the inside of these have a nice cushion. These are cute. So I got these brown sandals. They're like this cognac color. Oh, wow. These are different. Okay, so I'm not, I'm not really, I don't think I'm really feeling the gray. I thought I was, but I don't know if I really like the gray. I do like the black. Um, maybe, I don't know if they... Maybe I feel like they just look too big for my face, but I don't think, they're nice to look at, but on the face, I don't really like them. Y'all, I wish I would have waited to order this bodysuit because I actually got the green one, and if you've been watching my vlogs, I have already showed you guys this before. It is super cute, super sexy. I love that it's padded, and it makes the boobs look really, really good. It's just this burgundy uh, bodysuit. You can wear this with some jeans. It has like the satin kind of feel to it. This is a beautiful red. Like this is sexy for a date night, sexy for a girl's night. Like I really, really do love this. And I got this like half off y'all. So I wish I would have waited to buy the green one because I literally haunted the store is down for the green one. And then I got these little jumpsuits. I actually wore one of these probably like in my one of my previous vlogs. I'm going to try this one on to make sure it fit how it's supposed to fit. Because I got these for work. Because like I just told you guys, I'll be working this summer. And they're just something that's um, comfortable. I can throw on. I don't have to worry about ironing. Even during the school year, throw on a nice cardigan or jean jacket. Um, and put some sandals or some sneakers on. And these are just really um, comfortable and um, convenient to wear like in the classroom and stuff like that. Yes, they did. They actually sent me the wrong one. I ordered another one. It's like these little nightgowns, um, just like these gowns to wear to bed um, and stuff like that. So I got this cheetah print one. Um, I like the 
gonna look cute when I go to bed, honey. Like if I'm not wearing lingerie to bed, either I'm naked or either I'm wearing something um kind of cute. So yeah, I'm wearing something cute. Like I I gotta be cute when I'm going to bed, honey. Like even before I had a man, even for my man, you know, even when he ain't here. And then I picked up these sunglasses. Y'all know I love me some sunglasses. These are cute. Very basic. Um, very these are I don't want to say they're old school, but these everybody, you know, these sunglasses are not like on trend or nothing. Like everybody has always worn this style of sunglasses. These are cute. I'm not sure how I feel about them. If I don't like them, I probably just end up giving them to my mom because she loves sunglasses too. Um, but like I said, once I put on like my, you know, do my hair and have like my hair hair, I can kind of get a feel for um, the sunglasses. You can put it in the um in the back seat. Okay. Back seat? Yes. Okay. Uh-huh. I was like, are you for cool? Yes. Because <laughs> it's kind of cool right now. I don't know. Okay. Here's your receipt. Okay. Yes, you can. Okay. Have a good day. Thank you. You too. What's up you guys? So today is Tuesday. Um, y'all, I didn't end up doing nothing yesterday. Like everybody barbecue and I was just so over barbecue. Like we've been eating barbecue every damn day. Like, I'm about to fly. Like, I'm about to turn into a pig at this point. Like, I'm so over barbecue. Barbecue chicken, ribs, I'm done. Like, I literally went and got me some KFC last night, y'all, and called it a night. And, um, Kaysen, he has been going with his dad since Friday, y'all, and he's still not home yet. But anyways, I'm out here running errands, picking up my order. I just picked up my, um, order from Walgreens. I ordered some paper towels so that my house will be fully stocked and everything once I get back from, um, Vegas. Because you guys know we leave Friday. And I was going to film a Friday video today. I'm on the phone with Babe, by the way, y'all. But I was going to film, a, like, a beauty video or something. But I'm like, you know what? I ain't even going to worry about it because, like... I'm over the braids unless it's something that's not like showing my face or something like that then I may film it but other than that like it probably won't be a video Friday and I was gonna go ahead and wear like some hair like do my hair wash my hair take down my braids but I was like you know what I might as well go ahead and wear my braids especially with all of the activities and adventures that we have planned and stuff it's like you might as well wear your braids I mean you might as well wear them so um but when I get home honey these are coming down because um, I go back to work Monday. Well, we won't come back till Monday. So Tuesday, when am I going to have the time to take it down my hair? I probably have to wait like the next weekend to take down my hair. Oh my God, y'all.
Can I get a small fry, a Jamocha shake, a cup of water, and a chicken slider? Um, that'll be it. Girl, I have not ate all day, y'all. It is 3 o'clock. I have literally shopped till I dropped. Now it's time to go home. Because I also have to go home anyways, you guys, because I have to go get Kaysen's football stuff for his practice today and take all of his stuff to his dad, so either to my sisters, his shoulder pads, all of this stuff. So I'm getting excited, y'all, because I think he's going to have a game coming up soon. And I have got to go to my baby practice, you guys. Kaysen was like, Mommy, I bothers me when you don't come to my practice. But y'all, I be so tired when I'm always, always, always on the go. I promised to always come to his games, but the practices, I was like, baby, can mama come like at least just once a week or something? And he like, yeah, you can come just once once a week. Whew, y'all. So he has practices on Mondays, Tuesdays, and then Thursdays. So I'm thinking about going this Thursday. It's pretty much a wrap for today because I'm still trying to like do a little bit of shopping, get some like knickknacks and little things that um I did not get a chance to get. Um any other time before we went on this trip so um, I'm gonna show y'all everything that I got once I get home majority of this stuff is for babe y'all like I am so like I be telling him I'm like, babe you need to like shop like I shop like crazy like I'm his stylist y'all like like y'all my man he does not like to shop like I'm the shopper he does not like to shop send me the money and I, I do the shopping, okay? So I'm finally getting lunch, it's three o'clock and I just got something from Arby's on the way home so I can eat real quick and then head back out to take Case and his football practice stuff. And then um, I'm probably gonna take something out to cook. I think I'm gonna make like some chicken Alfredo or something. I'm not really sure, but I'm like, sis, you might as well go ahead and cook since you pretty much gonna be eating out until Monday, like starting Thursday. So I'm like, you know what, let me just go ahead and cook. I'm gonna make us like a small thing of some chicken alfredo um, or something like that. Uh, normally I do not cook on Mondays. Well, technically it's not Monday, it's Tuesday, but you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really like to cook, you know, like that, like that. But I'm gonna go ahead and cook. So yeah, once babe get home, he gotta try on all of this stuff that I done bought y'all. And hopefully he likes it because he's also very picky. Who you know? They don't like the shop. And then you got the nerve to be picky too. Come on. Stop playing. Ouch, I just hurt my nail. I'm like, stop playing with me. Y'all, I did my nails so good. I know I showed them to you guys yesterday, but I did them so good. And this time I actually used a super glue. I know a lot of you guys um commented or like DM me and told me that y'all use super glue too. So I was like, okay, sis, it worked. Like they hanging in there. They feel super strong. Like four tough built sis like these ain't going nowhere these ain't going nowhere like i just hit it like on the stern wheel it ain't going nowhere like i also think like the nails just look thicker like they literally look like acrylics and these are like my same nails that i used in my nail tutorial that i filmed a few weeks ago only thing i changed in that video was my nail glue sis and i'm gonna do like an updated nail tutorial once i really figure out what works for me because I did order a bunch of stuff off Amazon, so maybe I do like a do my nails with me using um, Amazon products or something like that. So look out for that because I also did um, use, like I said, the super glue, and then I also uh, polished my nails with gel polish. Well, I did the jelly sandwich method. Basically, you use regular polish, and then the next morning, like after your nails dry, you apply the top coat for the gel polish. It just makes them more shiny. It makes them last a lot longer and not get so like messed up and stuff. So yeah, I like gel polish on my toes too, y'all. But it's so hard to get off, and plus it was making my toe nails like really thin and like brittle and stuff. Like they were breaking like crazy. So I just switched back to regular polish on my toes. But since I literally don't have to take off the polish with these, I literally just take the nail off because they are press ons. Oh, they look like acrylics, girl. But I just pop them off so I don't have to worry about actually removing the gel versus on your natural toes. You have to remove the gel polish in order to like put some more polish on. 
And plus, like, I don't normally have problems with my nail polishes, um, my regular polishes not lasting. Um, the only thing is, they're not as shiny as I want them to be. My toes stay shiny, but my nails, because I use my hands so much, like, they don't stay shiny like I want them to. If y'all get what I'm saying. But my toes, they looking good, girl. They looking good. We getting ready for this trip. So this vlog, like I said, y'all, is just going to be me getting ready, me packing, and preparing myself for fucking Vegas. Because I'm so excited, y'all. I'm so excited. I'm lit. Like, I can't wait. I'm ready to go. And y'all, these are my sunglasses that I got from um, Rainbow that I showed you guys yesterday as well. I was gonna say my other vlog. Y'all, I be having like stuff be everywhere with the, when it comes to these vlogs. But yeah, I got these from Rainbow, $4.99, honey. And they real cute, I love them. I don't have on eyebrows, but look, you can't even tell. And if you can, back the fuck up, cause you in my business, don't do that. <laughs> Damn my business, you need to back the hell up. <laughs> All right, y'all, let me stop talking smack. I'm gonna see y'all once I get home. Okay, sis, so we're gonna go ahead and start packing all of my cosmetic things that I'm gonna be taking with me. Um, so, of course, you guys know if this is not your first pack with me, you know that I like to use just the quart size Ziploc bags, nothing too crazy at all, y'all. So I have my um, cleansers in these little miniature bottles. If you guys watch my pack with me for Miami vlog, you saw that I um, got these from the dollar store. So I just have like my cleanser in two of these and then I also have my um, my moisturizer in one of them as well. And then I also have my Marcella water, which is um, what I'm also gonna place in my bag as well. So I'm just gonna put all of these things in there. And then next I have my uh, moisturizer. So I like to go ahead and just pack all of my skincare first. And this also is my sunscreen as well. So moving on to makeup, you guys can see like when I'm packing y'all, I'm very minimalist. Like I don't take a lot with me at all. And if I do, I try to downsize what I have. So right here in this little, um, basically this is a contact case. Um, and I have my primer on one side and then I have my foundation on one side. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this in there as well. And then I'm taking two concealers, my Tarte Shape Tape and my LA Girl Pro Concealer. One's for underneath the eyes and one's for the brows. And then of course I have to have a mascara. So this is just the MAC, um, I think this is Dimensions, um, mascara. So I'm just going to put this in my bag. Got some nail glue, honey. Like, these things ain't going nowhere. But, you know, just in case for extra security, sis, I always like to bring some nail glue with me just in case. And then I just picked up this really, really small thing of lash glue from the beauty supply store. I think this is like a dollar or 99 cent or something like that. So, hopefully this works good, y'all. Like, I normally just use hair glue, to be honest. But, we're going to try this out. And then, I'm going to put my all-nighter setting spray, like, my makeup will not last unless I have this and I love this like I got to have this everywhere I go and then this is so random but it is a liquid so I'm just gonna take my Listerine and put this in the same bag so this bag is pretty much done it's pretty much filled as you guys can see the only thing else that I'm gonna put in it are my perfumes my fragrances so I'm gonna be taking my dossier with me this is the Ambry Saffron which is basically inspired by um uh baccarat rouge so yeah i'm taking that and then i'm just gonna go ahead and downsize it in this little bottle right here it's a perfume pod you pump it out it goes in here and then you just throw it in your bag and then i'm also gonna take my ysl mon perfume as well so i'm gonna go ahead and put that in this bag right here and then I just have to add this in my bag as well. So I try to limit myself to like two fragrances. So um, those are the two that I'm taking. And I am very funny when it comes to fragrance, you guys. Like when I take fragrances on vacations, like every time I wear that fragrance, it reminds me of the vacation. So, you know, good memories because I love Baccarat. Like the Ambery Saffron from Dossier is amazing, you guys. If you guys want to check them out, I will have my coupon code linked down below in my description bar. And also the link to their website. <clears throat> so moving on, now I have this gallon size bag. And basically everything else goes in this bag. So I have my tweezers right here that's going to go in here to apply my lashes. 
I have my brow pencil, uh, which I need. I have some lashes that I'm gonna take. And then I have some powder, highlighter, um, a blush, a blush palette, and then I also have a, um, a contour bronzer kit that I'm gonna take as well. So I just like to throw that in there. And then of course I have my all over face powder that I'm gonna throw in there as well. And then this right here is just my beauty sponge in a beauty sponge case. So this bag also goes in there too for my dirty brushes. And then this is like my bag with all of my brushes in it, all of my makeup brushes. So I'm just gonna stick that in there too. And then right here, I'm actually gonna put this in one of the bags that I'm carrying um, to dinner one of the nights. Um, and it just has my lip gloss in it, a lip chap, and um, a mirror, like a mini mirror. And I believe it fits in that bag. I need to go try it out before I bring this. So I'm gonna put that right there. And then for my hair products, of course, I just have my bonnet. And I have braids, so I don't need pretty much anything crazy. And then I just have my edge control, some gel, and then my edge brush. And I'll just stick that in there as well. And then I just have my cotton rounds, some um, cosmetic wedges, and some Q-tips. Stick that in there. So like I said, today is Thursday. And I went and got my wax and everything early this morning. Never mind the laundry in the background. I'm doing laundry. I'm cleaning up. I'm getting myself organized. My bag is somewhat kind of packed. I got it right here. Um, so let me go ahead and just show you guys real quick what I got from CVS when I went in there the other day so I can go ahead and close out this vlog. So of course I went ahead and got me a relaxer because when I get back in town, sis, well, I'm teaching summer school, so not like that Monday, but that weekend when I get back in town, like that weekend, these is coming down. They coming down, they gotta go. Um, I picked up a lot of new goodies because I'm so excited to start back filming my beauty content. So I got some of the Maybelline Sky High Mascara, which is uh, viral on TikTok and stuff like that. So I can't wait to try that out. And then I also picked up me some Nair. This is just the Sensitive Skin Formula with coconut oil. This is the um, body removal, like hair removal that I choose to use on my body. Um, of course, like I get my Lady Bits waxed. And um, since I've tried the waxing kit here at home, um, I have been doing like under my arms and stuff. I've been maintaining that. But as far as like uh, my hoo-ha, sis, I have to go get that professionally done because you know, I ain't that, you know, that's like anticipating the pain, like literally pulling it. So yeah, um, and then basically what I was saying was I just pretty much use this like on my legs because it's kind of hard to wax my legs too. So I just pretty much use that to wax my, um, I mean, what am I talking about? I pretty much just use this to remove the hair like off of my legs um, or anywhere else, arms, anywhere else that I wanna remove my hair. So I picked up two new blushes. These are from NYX. These are the Sweet Cheeks Matte Blushes. I got the shade Summer Breeze and I also got Citrine Rose. So these are pretty, I think they're like the same. Well, this was more pinky. This one's more like an orangish kind of color. Pick those up. And then I also picked up some of the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. Um, I have never really got a chance to try this powder. It has been out for a long time, y'all, but I still haven't gotten a chance to actually try it out and wear it, so I can't wait to, um, incorporate that in my beauty videos as well. And then I just picked up some of the Bliss Tech. This is just the, um, medicated lip ointment. I really do like this for when my lips are extremely, extremely dry and chapped. Picked up an LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Chestnut. I'm actually gonna go ahead and put this in my kit because I did need a new one um, in my makeup kit. You guys know that I do makeup, um, you know, here and there, you know, nothing too crazy or nothing like that. So I also picked up a um, nail polish. You guys saw me pick up this beautiful hot pink shade. It's literally the same color as my nail color that I'm wearing right now. Um, I'm curious to see how this works. You guys know that one of, in one of my previous vlogs, I saw the ha Sally Hansen um, Miracle Gel Polish in Dollar Tree. So um, I pay $8 for this one though, sis, but this color is so hard to find. I was going to pay for it no matter what. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful hot pink shade. 
Um, it's actually like a neon. It's just so hard to find those really, really good opaque colors. Like this color that I'm wearing now is very opaque, two coats and done. I'm a little nervous about this one. I'll keep you guys updated. I think maybe I have to use like three coats, but we'll see. Um, or apply white nail polish under it. I had to do all of that. Like I needed to just go on right the first time. So we're gonna try this neon color out, see what this is hidden for. And then um, normally you can find like these beautiful pinks at like your beauty supply store, but those brands of polishes honestly you guys do not last that long so yeah that's pretty much all that i have to show you guys um i'm cooking dinner right now y'all i cook shrimp and chicken alfredo and it looks so good i'm waiting for babe he said he's about to turn in to pull up now we're about to eat thank you guys so much for watching this vlog the sun is going down i don't have on any lights i'm in my living room y'all sorry about the lighting um but i will see you guys in vegas I'm so excited. Y'all stay tuned. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all later. Mwah. Bye.